There's a huge hole right there. Oh my god, my So we got a bore on this one property. Uh, he's been hanging out on here and tearing stuff up. And uh, he's a loner, he's by himself, but he's been tearing holes in the field. So uh, we just got a camera ping. Um, normally aren't out hunting tonight, but decided, hey, let's just sneak out and try to smack him real quick. So I brought the LWRC 6, or not the 6.8, I brought the 350 Legend. We're going to see what uh, kind of hole this 350 Legend puts in a pig. So if he's still there, we're going to be on him in two minutes. If he's still there, we're going to knock him down with the Legend. Wish us luck. Okay, we're going to know if he's there. I don't know if he's there in about uh, one minute. So I'm going to get out, get my gun, and get it on tripod, and we're ready to go. Okay, we're gonna walk up and see if he's there. He's there, he's there. Okay, remember the instructions, okay? <clears throat> he, as soon as I leave you, you're done with your phone. Now you're on, on your thermal and you're gonna give me communication. He's right down here, you'll be able to see him, okay? All right, walk this way. We had this boar over here. Uh, he was digging a hole over here in the field. He was kind of down in this hole, and I punched him with the 350 Legend, and he went right down. Kind of an ugly little codger. You can see this hole here that he's been digging. So, uh, just punched him as he was down in the hole, down in here digging, put him out of his misery. So, uh, pig down, 350 legend did a great job. Actually, let me roll him over. Let's see what, uh, <clears throat> what the exit hole looks like. Oh yeah. So we got these, uh, these new 350 Legends from LWRC, and uh, we're kind of, you know, looking forward to really getting some holes in some pigs. It is uh, very similar to a 30-30 round, so it's 170 grain bullet, straight wall jacket, so uh, just a really, really good cartridge. And uh, we've knocked down a couple pigs with it, <coughs> but as we've been hunting with these, we've also been hunting with uh, the LWRC 68 SPC, so it's a little hard to tell. The effectiveness of the 350 legend unless you just shoot the 350 legend so here we did one shot and done i mean he never even took a step <laughs> i had a comedy of errors here <clears throat> where are you at oh all right what do you mean you had a comedy of errors? well <laughs> my tripod head is a little bit loose and <clears throat> i forgot that these so i got this new saddle mount that i've been trying out on this ball head and with with these bear, or with these uh, LWRCs, how they've got a tapered uh, handguard on them, <clears throat> they don't really hold very steady and very solid in this style saddle uh, tripod head. So um, it was a little bit loose, a little bit wobbly in there. And uh, you know, I got out there, my sling came undone, and uh, you know, I used my sling to to kind of balance my gun as I'm carrying my tripod, and my sling came undone, and I couldn't tell where I was walking. This field is just brutally rough because uh, we had a lot of rain <clears throat> over the last couple months and he had about 100 head of cows out here. And these cows have just put, div I mean, there's two divots per square foot, three divots per square foot out here. So as you're walking, you're walking in all these <laughs> six inch holes and it's just, it's just a pain in the ass to walk in here. So I was a little concerned that I was gonna make a little bit of noise walking up on this pig but man I, I shot him at uh, about 35 yards and uh, 
man, this 350 lunge and put the hammer on this guy. I mean, he just dropped. So he was down in that hole digging, and uh, man, he never, never took a, a step or a breath after that. So guys, <clears throat> look here, as I was talking about all these holes and divots, this is what we're walking in. So it's just a very un, uneven, unlevel surface as you're walking. So you're walking along and kind of stumbling through these holes and when you're old and not as agile like me, it's uh, it can be a little bit challenging to get through these fields. So we're gonna walk back and get the truck. We're gonna put a leg drag on him and we're just gonna drag him out of this field because this is the field where the pigs hang out. So we'll drag him out of here and uh, game over. Let's head back to the truck. All right, well, we made it back to the truck. <clears throat> so we, uh, we just walked up and poked through this uh, little spot in the trees here and then uh, walked down about, I don't know, you walked probably about 20 yards and I walked probably about 50-ish yards and, uh, <clears throat> and put a smack on this pig. He's down there now. We're going to go uh, hook onto him and uh, just put a leg drag on him and drag him out of this field. We don't want to leave him back in this field where all the pigs are at. So uh, I'm just going to drag him out. I just don't want to bring a bunch of coyotes in here and scare all the pigs off. So anyways, we're going to mosey down there and hook onto this pig. All right, let's get this guy uh, <clears throat> drug over to the truck and we'll get him out of the way here. We'll get him out of this field. Put a little leg drag on him. Okay, that's a blooper. <clears throat> Good thing I didn't end up on my butt there. I'll just single leg him. That is the problem with this fatter drag. Sometimes it slips off. <clears throat> so you might ask, why didn't he just back the truck up? Well, then you wouldn't have got to see the leg drag. So. Guys, it's kind of like, uh, you know, when I was filling the feeder, why don't you just pull your truck over there? I know this stuff, okay? But I'm showing you the drag. We're dragging the pig over, hooking him to the truck, and now we're going to tow him out of here. Because <laughs> that's what people are going to say. Why don't you just back your truck up? So why are we doing it, B-roll? Huh? <laughs> <So why> <laughs> I can't get this freaking headlamp off. Jeez, a brand new headlamp. I can't figure the damn thing out. So, no, why, no, I drug him over here so they could see, you know, me putting a leg drag on him and dragging him over, you know. I mean, normally, if I was just out here hunting, I'd just be backing up and hooking onto him, and away we'd, <coughs> away we'd go. But I wanted to show people the leg drag, so I just got this rope here with a little handle tied on it, and I can slip it right over the trailer ball and drag him out or hook it right to the buggy. And Man, sometimes I push this button on this thing and it goes right off. Other times I got to cycle through 63 different versions of it. What brand is it? <clears throat> I don't know. I just bought this thing. It's brand new. I bought it as a backup because my other one, I've had it forever and it's getting kind of old. Are you going to do an Amazon video on it? Uh, well, if I could figure out how to say it. I'm making a video of it. Oh, that's it. You know, that's the thing is you get all these products on Amazon. You don't even know what the hell they're called. You can't even pronunciate them. So, pronunciate them? Pronunciate them. Pronun pronunciation? Can't even pronounce them. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and drag this pig out of here, get him on the other, uh, other tree line so that way he's out of the way, and uh, head on home for the night. How many things have happened to you tonight since we started? <clears throat> well, so, so we got out here... Uh, I had to explain to my camera person <laughs> multiple times what we were doing, which was actually a very, very easy explanation, but I guess I put uh, too many tasks into one little quick short version there. So anyways, <clears throat> started walking up, my, my sling came unclipped, you know, and I used my sling to balance on my tripod. My tripod ball head was a little bit loose. Um, walked up, it, it, you know, it was just kind of a cluster getting up here, but man, the gun did great. <clears throat> the thermal did awesome. Uh, dropped that pig, that 170 grain 350 legend bullet is just wicked deadly. Hey, so I want to thank our sponsors. We got a great group of sponsors that really uh, lend a hand into what we do out here. 
uh, LWRC, uh, absolutely fantastic guns, love them. The 6.8 SPC Razorback 2 and the 350 Legend, awesome guns. <clears throat> also, uh, Beck Ammunition, uh, just absolute great ammo, great products. Everything that he builds is match grade. Uh, bearing Optics, these scopes, man, they just work absolutely fantastic. We've got Bearing Optics on all of our LWRC guns. And uh, once again, Texas Hogbait. You can see here, guys, so see all this darkness? I've got corn buried in this hole in the ground. That was an eight inch auger hole and you can see how, how much he's dug that thing out. And all of this wet stuff right here is just Texas hog bait that I just poured right over the top of it. And it's been, sorry about that. It's been bringing him in uh, nonstop. So he comes, if I can get this damn light off. So he's been coming in here trying to get at that corn. And even though there's not a whole lot of corn le left down in the ground, He's been digging in this dirt just simply because I poured the Texas hog bait over it. Absolutely perfect storm. We came in here, uh, walked down this tree line, got on this pig. I only had to walk about 50 yards, got right up on him with this uh, 350 Legend with this bearing optic super yoder. What a fantastic combination. 170 grain bullet, and this thing dropped him. He was down uh, inside this hole right here digging. <clears throat> I had to dig him out of the hole so you guys could see him, but he was down in that hole digging and I just put a smoke on this guy and down he went. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Uh, more videos to come, but uh, pig down tonight. There's a huge right there. Oh my god, my Jesus Christ, look at the size of that hole. Good thing my equipment's durable. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Look at that. What are the odds of me stepping in that? Well, it's me, so. Jesus. Oh, my God. I hammered. I didn't get you on film when it happened, but I got you as soon as that. Well, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, was, I mean, I shit. I dropped down knee deep in the one hole. Freaking ate shit in the other one. Are uh, you okay? Uh, yeah. All right. Let's wrap this up without me falling down.